What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive S&D on the map Riot. And this team that we're playing was actually 9-0 before we played them on Advanced Warfare, and like 12 or 13-0 in Ghost. So they were a pretty good team. Uh, we wound up winning 2-1 map count. I cut out the losing rounds on this gameplay because Riot plays very, very slowly, and I... I can't talk that long right now. I don't have that much to say on this topic. So um, that's the reason I cut those rounds out. I know some of you guys want to see losing rounds, and I don't mind showing them to you. But for time's sake, I try and choose the most entertaining rounds for you guys to watch while I talk. So today's topic is about the S&D maps for competitive play in Advanced Warfare. And, right, and I'm going to talk about the ones that are currently in place by MLG. And then the ones that I want, um, just to let you guys know my credentials on this topic, kind of. Um, I've put in a ton of in-game time on Advanced Warfare so far, and the majority of it has been spent on S&D. Um, in public matches, I believe I've got like 20, 21 hours of in-game time. Like when you go to your career stats, that's what it has right now for me. And then competitively, I've played... Uh, probably close to 15, 20 matches, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I could be a little bit off on the competitive match number. But um, all of that has been S&D because I know that that is definitely going to be in the rotation. I've messed around with Hardpoint and CTF some uh, just to learn rotations and spawns and things. But most, I've been focused on S&D. So I know the maps. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I know the maps. I know how they play for S&D. So that's... Kind of my credentials on it. So the maps that are currently in the rotation, and I'll give a brief description in case you don't recognize the map from the name. Uh, Biolab is in the rotation. That's the one that's a snowy map, and it has a lab, and it has those little explosive canisters that kind of move around the map sometimes. Um, Detroit, that one is the one where it's got like the cube, the white cube in the middle of the street. Um, and it's got like a garage on it and then there's like a hotel building and there's a hospital it, It's like a hospital center area thing um, And then there's retreat uh, That one is well, I, I describe it as a retreat. It's got some grassy fields. There's um, a rock tunnel somewhere and there's a bunch of uh, Weird looking buildings around it. I don't I don't know how to describe it very well. Um, it, do, it has a small pool on it um, Next one is riot that is, of course, the map I'm playing, so no need to describe that one. And then Solar, which is the one where it's really, really white, um, and it's got a big open area in the center of the map. Um, and then it's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know how else to describe that one for you guys. But um, and then the ones I want are Riot, Detroit, Bio Lab. So those are the three that I want to keep out of the five that. MLG has chosen so far and then I want comeback which is um, the map it's got kind of colorful buildings actually I think it's got a blue building and a yellow building and then it's got the big red cube shaped building in the center and it's got a wall at the entrance of the two entrances that kind of sort of block it but not really um, and then I want terrace which is another map that has a lot of white buildings, but that's the one that everybody associates with the pool because it's got a, a much bigger pool and it's over by closer to the A-bomb site if you know where that is. And then there's a water tunnel on that map. So hopefully you know which maps I was talking about there. So now let me go through and talk about each of those maps and talk about why I like them or why I dislike them. So Biolab, that's one that I wanted to keep. Um, that one... It plays, it, it's interesting to play, um, it's very high pressure and very intense simply because if you, you can't lose a defensive round, if you lose a defensive round, you just have this feeling that you're going to lose because defense is so much easier than offense on that map, um, but offense is still possible, but for some reason, defense is just a lot easier, there's a lot of ways you can watch it, you can get to the bombs faster. So it's it's a very defensive heavy map. However, it still plays pretty fair. It it kind of almost feels like how Dome played from MW3, but it's a completely different map. Um, I'm not saying it's the same map reworked or anything like that. It just kind of plays like that for me. Um, and then 
Detroit. Detroit, well. that's another one I want to keep. Uh, Detroit is it's just overall I think the most balanced map. Um, it's it, it feels very symmetrical in its design and it's got the classic three lane system and it it just plays like S and D feels like it should play. Um, it plays about medium pace I would say. Uh, there's a couple times where it can take really long on some of the A pushes because you get in those stalled long engagements with snipers and ARs from window to window. But um, usually it plays pretty good and it's very balanced for both sides, I feel. Um, and then uh, and then Riot, that's the one. That's the other one that I want to keep. Those, that concludes the three that I want to keep. And Riot... Riot plays very, very slowly, to be completely honest. It t it tends to go down to the last few seconds of the round, but I, f I just feel like it plays pretty well. Like, it's balanced as far as the sniper spots for both sides of the maps. Um, even in mid-prison, while the offensive side has a slight advantage from sniper positions you can go, you also have a disadvantage because the better spot will sound off if you go there. Um, I'm talking about the doorway to the prison. And... It, it's, it just seems very, very balanced to me, and of course there's all the nice plant spots that I know on the map, so I, I enjoy it quite a bit, but um, yeah, alright, then, alright, let, let me talk about the two I want to get rid of now, so Retreat, Retreat is so sniper heavy and so sniper dominant from what I've played so far that it I'm scared to move in that map at all. I'm scared to move from my spawn because you can literally walk like 10 feet and you can snipe me. Switching it's side. insane. The bomb sites are extremely open in my opinion. Very, very hard to get Search them down. And, and if they do go down, very, very hard to actually win the round from then as in defusing it because you, they're just spread out. They're all across. The enemy team can be all across the map and still see the bomb site. It's it's very, very confusing to me. I don't like that map at all. There's a lot of little bushes and rock head glitches and some weird lines of sights for some of the bombs that are from quite a distance. So I just feel like it, it doesn't work. Um, maybe that's just me. Maybe if we play it more, we'll get used to it. But that's my opinion on it. And then sort of same thing goes for solar because this is the other one I want to get rid of. However, the thing here is... Um, on the defense side, if the defensive players know what they're doing, they will make it to where you cannot go A at all. There's a spot you can go, and I might show this in one of my videos if I make it, where you can, and you, you probably know about it if you've played competitively now, but you, you can snipe anybody that goes A, you can snipe anybody that goes mid, so one player can lock down mid and A pretty easily, um, and then all that you have left is B. And it turns into a very, um, it, it turns into a game that winds up just being the same thing over and over and over again. Everybody's doing B pushes over and over and over again. Very, very rarely does anybody try and go A or even mid. It's just so open that it's ridiculous. Um, and then from B, it just kind of plays really slow. Uh, people are trying to wait for the picks, waiting for people to Good push job. up to get the bomb down, Good things like that. It, it's just, it, it doesn't, it's not a balanced map in my opinion. And it's definitely not a balanced map as far as the bomb sites go, so that's why I want that one to go. Alright, and then the two maps that I want to come back. This one, I, I don't... It, it's not necessarily a completely balanced map as far as the bomb sites go, but I think it's balanced um, for the offense and defense. I feel like they both have places they can go to get some easy first picks and have some cover and everything. I feel like it's fairly balanced. I feel like A is... He um, heavily favored because B is more in the open. There's a lot of nades and things that can come in and kill you from there. Um, it plays... I, I, I feel like it actually plays pretty fast from the few times that I've played it. This is one that I drop numbers on quite a bit. That one in Riot, I drop numbers pretty much 99% of the time. But um, yeah, that's, that's for comeback. And then Terrace is the other map that I want to put in. And this one, if you're a sub player, you should want this map because this map is so close range, so many tight corners, so many sound horse spots for bombs and things. Um, lots of sneaky plays can happen, and it's very, very fast. I've had games go um, under 10 minutes consistently, um, even going to like 6-5 on this map. It's very, very fun to play, um, 
and I, I feel like it's just, it's a pretty balanced map. I feel like A is um, favored simply because of all the sound tour positions, although B is definitely an option. We've gone B several times on it. But um, yeah, that's my opinion on the S&D map rotation so far for MLG. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what maps you guys want. If you agree with me, disagree with me, it's all good. I don't care. Just don't be rude to each other in the comments. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.